Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to what is going to be my worst nightmare, honestly. <laughs> so, I'm going back to Five Nights at Freddy's, but this time I actually bought the game. Um, in my last video, I was in night two of the demo, and that was terrifying, so I'll actually show you this time. Um, how night one goes for me. Last time, it wasn't so bad. Uh, Bonnie was just being a pain in the butt. And, um, Chica didn't give me that much trouble, but in the second night, they both took off, like, right away. And that really surprised me, because usually Bonnie is the first one, and then Chica will come out sometime later. But I guess it's, uh kind of random how they come out um excuse the microphone oops sorry excuse the microphone right next to my face is um it would be nice to have a kind of professional setup but i pretty much have like this mic stand with a guitar hero microphone on top of two books to keep it stable on my bed so it's like very um I won't be surprised if it falls over during this video, but anyways, let's get to the madness that is Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh god. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Family Pizzeria looking for security guards work the night shift 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. If you're really desperate for a job, this will be perfect for you because you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Really? <laughs> it's... Oh, God. Why anyone would want to stay more than one night in this place? I have no clue why. Because I would be like, Mmm... I don't know. I don't know. And then I would book it. The minute I see like all the animatronics trying to get me. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't know why my nose is so runny um but i'll let the phone guy talk his usual memo try and help me out buddy hello oh hello uh i wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact, so I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to I life. I hate Fazbear's you all, and I really hope that you do not look at me. Person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's right. really nothing to worry about. Of course. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect. Right? Okay. Right. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up, they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton 
without its costume. Of course. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first they should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. Um. See, this is the bull that I have to deal with. If you can see this right now, all these masks are staring at me. Okay? And I can't handle that. Because there's nothing in them. All they are are endoskeleton pieces. And I... You see, oh, Bonnie's already gone. This is, this is absolutely terrifying. Like, I... Oh... Like, the fact that I know that there's nothing in there at all, and these things are just staring at me, it's it's freaking ridiculous, okay? I'm just telling you right now, and while I'm adjusting this, they're probably going to come get me. So, this is going to suck really bad. I should have adjusted this beforehand. Whatever. It's only Bonnie night one, so... I I just love how this phone guy likes to put the fact that your job, although seemingly like easy to deal with, is a complete nightmare because all these fun and friendly animatronics are basically out to get you because they don't realize that you're a human being and, you know, Oh, you're an endoskeleton that doesn't have a costume yet, so we're gonna put you where you belong. And I just love how he tries to put it so nicely, like, yeah, there's a problem with the machines, and they're gonna try and kill you, and, you know, as long as you watch them and be careful, you'll be alright. <laughs> yeah, thanks, phone guy. Thanks a lot. Oh, God. Luckily, this first night isn't so bad, but as long as these stupid masks don't stare at me all night, then, you know, I'll be good. But that's, <laughs> that's, that's cutting it really nicely, you know what I mean? It's already 3 a.m., and I only have 50% power left, but that's, of course, because I've, ooh, that's not good. Okay, where's Bonnie? Okay, that poster right there is what messed me up in the uh, demo. Because this Freddy Fazbear face was completely morphed, like his head was broken in half. And yeah, that's, that's not fun to deal with either. The random voices that you'll hear. Well, now we know that Chica's in the kitchen, so... Oh, God. You know what? In times like these, where, um... Things are getting very... Creepy. Like, extremely creepy. And I really don't... Oh, and now Freddy's staring. And oh, now all the heads are staring at me. Great! I love it. You know what I mean? Oh god. I'm already getting freaked out. It's night one. Like, I shouldn't be scared. But Bonnie is right outside the door. And I'm just waiting for him to, you know, pop his face in, say hi. You know, hey buddy, I missed you. I hope you're doing alright, you know. I see that you're lonely here and I thought you might like some company. And no, I do not want your company, Bonnie. No, you can you can go back to um, the freaking stage and have fun with Freddy. Because I do not want you any anywhere near me. 
And you're still right there. I'm under. Mm. Well, I mean, I could literally leave the door like that for the rest of the night and be totally fine. But since I am such a great friend to all these animatronics, and he's still right there, I feel like messing with uh, Foxy. Even though that is a really bad idea, I'm just gonna stare at his camera. Or you know what? I'll leave that door open or closed. I only have like one hour left, so I'm just gonna stare at Pirate Cove and piss Foxy off. I'm totally freaking out and you know I don't know they're just messing with me anyways I'm gonna stop this right here save night two for another night but I hope you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time <laughs> all right